hello everyone and welcome to the channel so in this video i will explain you how you can display an image in a salesforce screen flow so as we know that in salesforce flow automate the data processes like creating updating and deleting the records so we generally use the screen flow to create record for those record you might need to add an image or an static image so by adding an image in a screen flow we mean that uh, adding an image to the screen flow not to the records that we are going to add with the help of a screen flow so in this video i'm going to show you how you can add or display that image on your screen flow and before that i would like to introduce our newly launched salesforce admin course so first let me show you the course content then we will continue to the topic so this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and I will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course. So these are the modules that we have covered in this course. So it's a beginner to advanced level Salesforce course and it, there are 9 plus modules and 20 plus hours HD video. And you will also get the PDFs and the certification after the completion. And also there is an offer for 50% discount for the early birds. So, so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course. And if you subscribe this course right now, you have to pay only $99 instead of $199. So even if you are a beginner, then you will understand each and everything in this course. And to get this course, you can redirect to our website. And from there, you can subscribe to this course. So now let's move back to so in order to display the image on the screen flow first we need to create a static resource in which we are going to store the image. And then we are going to use that static resource in our screen flow that will display the image so let's move ahead and see the process so right now i have logged into my salesforce developer console and here we will first create a static resource for that go to this quick find box and here search static and under custom code select static resources and in the setup window of static resource click on this new button and here we have to enter the name select the image file so for name i have entered as so I have entered the name as trailhead image. Then we have to select the file that we have to show in the screen flow. So we have selected the image also. And in the cache control, select the option public and click save. So as of now, we have created the static resource that we are going to use in our screen flow. And now we will navigate to the flow setup to create the screen flow. For that, go to the quick find box and search the flows. Here we will navigate to the flow setup. And in the flow setup click on this new flow button so here we will select the option screen flow and then click create so right now we are in the lightning flow builder and here we will add a screen element to the screen flow and first we have to enter the label and the api name for the screen element so in this example i am going to create a contact record with the help of this screen flow so i am labeling it as contact details and the api name will be autofilled according to the entered label so to create a contact record we need the last name and the account name so for the last name i'm going to add a text component to the screen region uh, so from the component section on the left side i will drag this text section to the screen region and i will label it as a last name and you can also make this field require and to assign accounts we have to add a lookup field so here from here i will add a lookup component to the screen and here we have to enter the required details for this component also so the api name i am going to enter as contacts account contact accounts and the field api name going to be account id and the label here will be account name this label will be displayed on the screen when we will create records and the object api name will be the contact so this api name will be the uh, api of the contact that we are going to create with the help of this screen flow so now to display the image on this uh, on the screen flow we have to add a image component on the screen so there is a display image component that we are going to add on the screen so here we have to enter the api name and the image name so the api name i am going to enter as contact image and in the image name you have to enter the and in the image name we have to enter the name of the static resource that we have created so in the static resource this is the uh, resource that we have created and here image name is trailhead image so i will copy it from here and then i will paste the resource name in the image name field so as you can see this image is appearing in the left hand corner so we can also align so as, as i type center on this it will appear in the center so as of now we have configured the screen element 
so here click on the done and now in order to create the records we have to add a create record element to the screen flow so here i will select a create record element and then to configure it i have to enter the label api name and the api name will be auto filled here we have to select the option use separate resources and the object we are going to select is contact and in the section set field values for the contacts we have to map the values that we have selected in the screen flow to the values of the object so the contacts account id will be mapped with the lookup field that we have created contact accounts and then select record id and then another field that we are going to map is uh, the last name so first we have to select the last name field that is the text field and then for the value we have to again select the last name so we have uh, configured the create record element also so now we will save this flow for that click on the save button so in the flow label you have to enter the name of the flow so i have named it as contact create contact screen flow and the flow api name will be auto filled so i'll click on save and now to test the flow we have to debug it for that click on the debug button in the flow builder and and in the debug window click on the run button so as you can see the image is displayed at the top of the screen and here you can enter the name and the account name and then you have to click next so this is how we can display an image to the screen flow and to use this flow you have to activate it from this activate button then only you will be able to deploy this flow on your record pages so this is how we can add or display an image in the salesforce screen flow and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye